Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Joining me today is Ann Bradley, who is our Administrator for the Agricultural Preservation Programs in Frederick County. Welcome, Ann. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show today. Maybe we can start off by having you tell the viewers uh, what you do in your job as the Ag Preservation Administrator. Sure, I'd be happy to. Thanks for having me, Jan. Um, the Ag Preservation Administrator is responsible for administering the various land preservation programs we have available in the county. That includes acquiring grants, applying for grants, preparing the annual budget, uh, discussing possibilities on uh, landowners' properties with them, and um, also taking care of the hundreds of easements that we have in place, which includes monitoring and new requests that might come in on those properties. Okay. Um, so how long have you been in this job? I have worked for the county now for 10 years, okay. and I've worked in the Land Preservation Administrator job since 2011. Okay. Well, we have some exciting news to announce, and I'm going to let you take the honors with the announcement because it's a reflection of all of your good work. Thank you. I appreciate that, County Executive Gardner. We have received word last week during a Board of Public Works meeting uh, that I attended in Annapolis uh, that Frederick County is going to receive a grant this year for $1.1 million for the Rural Legacy Program. Um, Governor Hogan and the members of the Board of Public Works voted um, unanimously to approve that grant that we had applied for earlier this year. Um, we Go ahead. So I thought we did very well with this grant application because um, the pot of money available at the state was around $10 million, and so Frederick County received just over 10 percent, and we were the second largest grant award in the state with the one that's larger than us being just slightly larger. So I think that speaks to the strength of our agricultural preservation programs and um, you know, the value of our rural legacy programs. Now, just for our viewing audience, you know, people ask me how ag preservation works. Can you talk about when the fact that it's a voluntary program, how farmers or property owners can get involved in it, and what, what they're selling for their permanent preservation easement? Sure, absolutely. It is a voluntary program, and I speak to new landowners weekly that are interested in learning about what these programs mean. Um, I do evaluations on their property and, and look at the various criteria for the different programs and maybe I steer them towards one program versus the other. Basically what these programs do is they make landowners offers to permanently preserve and protect their farm or their you know, also natural resource land uh, from development. So what these easements really do is they restrict certain residential, commercial, and industrial uses on there to make sure that we have um, you know, a good base for future food and fiber production here at the county. Okay. I think these programs, and there are several of them, but I think the three biggest ones are the um, MELF program, which has been around the longest, which is the Mer Maryland Agricultural Land Preservation Fund. Is that correct? Last words, foundation. foundation. Close. Yes. Okay. Very close. And um, then the Rural Legacy Program. And then the county has its own installment purchase program, which has been very successful and I think has preserved almost just under 20,000 acres. Um, so I, the most exciting thing to me is that we have now preserved over 50,000 acres. I'm sure you know the exact number. <laughs> and that takes us about halfway to our 100,000 acre goal. And it really ensures that we leave a legacy to future generations of agriculture. Because agriculture is part of our heritage. We know people appreciate their history, love to see the farmland here in the county, uh, really value um, farming and agriculture, and a lot of people want to buy their food locally. Mm -hmm. So this does a lot of those things. So do you want to talk about the areas in the county that are um, highlighted for rural legacy? Absolutely. We have two designated rural legacy areas, and these are geographic areas where we can then spend these grant funds that we have received from the state. And one area reaches, it's more West County, reaching from the Myersville area down along South Mountain through Burkittsville down to 340. So it kind of encompasses the, the western area over there. That was adopted as a rural legacy area because of its rich agricultural land, um, as well as important natural resources use and the cultural resources of the battlefield view shed from the Appalachian Trail. I could keep going on with that one. Uh, the second rural legacy area is located 
uh, it starts just south of the city of Frederick and runs down through Adamstown and Buckystown down to the Potomac River. Again, we have large blocks of contiguous farmland there to preserve and had all those important resources that we were looking for when we adopted these rural legacy areas back in the late 90s. Well, the area around Burkittsville, which is um, a partnership with the mid Maryland Land Trust, how many acres of contiguous agricultural land has been preserved through the Rural Legacy Program or other programs there? Contiguous through Burkittsville and south, um, it's over 8,000 contiguous preservation acres through all the programs. Yeah, that's yeah. fabulous. That's a fabulous accomplishment. Now, not only are we one of the leaders in the state of Maryland in terms of agricultural preservation, what about in the United States? In a recent survey, I think it was the latest one that came out was from 2013, but it had Frederick County, Maryland as being one of the top 10 county preservation programs, and that's as far as acres preserved. So nationwide, we're in the top 10 counties. Excellent. Now, who publishes that? It was published by an entity called the Farmland Preservation Report. It's a private entity that would do these surveys and determine that. Okay. Well, I think that speaks a lot for the fact that not only have we set a, a fairly high goal, we also have made a lot of progress to that goal. So um, another um, big announcement that we had uh, last week in addition to the agricultural preservation programs was the announcement of an addition to our staff for uh, econ agricultural economic development. Now in recent years, you've been filling in for that job as well, and we really appreciate that. Um, part of the reason we want to preserve farmland is so that we can you know, really support the ag industry here over time, whether it's with the homegrown here label or our farmers markets or our other products. So do you want to speak a little bit about what you accomplished while you were in that role as well? Absolutely. Um, and filling that role, I think it's been about a year and a half now, has been really beneficial. I came into uh, the role from a really a land use perspective, you know, we're going to preserve the farmland. But what I learned working with the Office of Economic Development is that we also need to work to preserve the farmers and being able to help them market their products, um, helping them with social media, helping them brand their products, starting new farmers markets, local, buy local events. All of those things are what's going to keep agricultural going in the county and help our citizens. There's been a lot of startups in the last few years of farmers, which is really great uh, when, you know, the average age of, of the farmer in the United States is, is increased, is, you know, is in, the 50, in their 50s. So we're looking for new young farmers getting started. And um, I think it's just really, like I said, giving me a new perspective and not just preserving the land, but also working on preserving their businesses. Well, you've done a great job in both positions. I really appreciate all your hard work um, with our agricultural preservation uh, program and stepping up to fill a gap with helping with the economic development side. You've done an exceptional job. Now, you know, I do want our viewers who may be interested in participating in one of the agricultural preservation programs to know how they can find out more information. Absolutely. You can reach us on the county website. It would be under the uh, division of planning and permitting. You also can reach out to me directly at my line at 301-600-1474 or via email at abradley, that's A-B-R-A-D-L-E-Y, at frederickcountymd.gov. Okay. And before we go, can you maybe give us a little bit of an idea of what this $1.1 million will mean in terms of preserving land and what we've been able to preserve with similar amounts of money over the last few years? Sure, absolutely. We have a list uh, that we submitted with the grant application of 10 viable properties, people that are interested in moving forward with uh, you know, this type of rural legacy easement. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going through that list and you know, discussing uh, possibilities with those landowners and we'll figure out where the best fit is to spend those easement dollars. Okay. And can you tell people how we put a value on those easements and how it varies a little bit by property? Absolutely. This particular program, the Rural Legacy, we've adopted a point system where we give them points for things like their soil quality and size and development potential. And that ranking total translates right into a dollar value per acre that we would be paying them for their easement. Um, there's different ways of valuing easements. Some programs have appraisals and some programs have point systems. So the Rural Legacy has a point system. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, to our viewing audience, if any of you are interested in um, participating in one of our agricultural preservation 
uh, programs. They are voluntary programs, but they do help secure the future of agriculture for Frederick County. And I hope you'll contact Ann and she can tell you about them. And of course, nobody is done with uh, selling their easement until such time as the deal is closed. And um, we're really very excited to have a successful agricultural program in Frederick County. So thank you for joining us for this edition of Community Conversations.